Hi, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am both excited and very nervous because in this video, I am going to be trying at home DIY lash extensions for the first time. Let's hope this goes well. So I was scrolling on TikTok and I found a TikTok that influenced me. This is basically my personality at this point. Let's just watch it together. I wanna to give her credit. I bought the exact same kit that she bought, but seriously, her lashes looked so good. I was like, okay, I am going to figure out what she did. Okay. Hey, welcome to part two of my at-home lash extension. So I'm gonna show you how I apply them. And that's it, they'll last me about seven to 10 days and I am obsessed with these. So I went to the Wink Click site. I bought the exact same style that she had and they are in the style Minx. This is what they look like. They are super curly and wispy, which I feel like is exactly what you're going for for that lash extension look. And I just wanna say the reason that I am excited and hopeful for this process is because I have seriously been considering trying lash extensions. I just cannot get over how high maintenance they are, how expensive they are, how time consuming they are. I just can't get over the price. So I'm hoping this will solve all of my problems she said that these lashes last like eight days and I think they can last up to ten days even so we'll see about that these lashes came with five pairs and they were only $36 which I felt like was a really good price I also got the adhesive from the site the adhesive was only $10 and then I bought the remover too because I don't want to be stuck with these like glued to my lashes and this was $12 the site had free shipping in the US which is like a game changer when you buy from a small business because sometimes shipping can be more than like what the product you're even buying is worth so love that free shipping in the US and the tiktoker that I actually found this lash set from had a coupon code for 10% off so for the whole set for all five pairs it cost me about $52 so a little more than $10 a pair if they last 10 days I feel like this is way cheaper than real lash extensions so let's get into trying this out this is what I'm most nervous about because I feel like this is gonna take some concentration got the glue here Got some tweezers. Okay, so step one, she said to gently take off each section of the lash and put them on a table in order. I have a little table right in front of me here. All right, so I have all of my lashes set out here with a mirror, tweezers, everything's ready to go. So she said to cut the ends that might be dangling off the lash strip. Now I'm not sure if she's referring to if they're too long for your eyes or if she's talking about like this little edge piece that doesn't have any lashes on them. So I'm just going to trim them as I go because I don't know exactly how much I need to trim off to fit my eye shape. And I'm sure I will. I usually do with strip lashes. All right, so she is recommending that you kind of scrape the glue onto the lash so that there's like a little bubble of glue. So here is that glue. I feel like I don't have as big of a bubble as her. The lashes are just so curly. I can't get a good angle. But let's, let's try to add just a little bit more. So she puts the glue on all of her lashes before she applies any of them. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not sure if this is just because this is the first time I've ever done this, but this isn't exactly easy. Like any little stickiness that gets caught on these lashes is going to ruin them. So for each lash, there are four parts. I only did three of them because I wanna see how much more I need on the last one. I'm gonna go wash my hands, I'm gonna get my lash curler, and then I'm going to move on to the next step. So next up, I'm gonna curl my lashes. That is the next thing she recommends. And we're gonna do one eye at a time, starting from the outside and going in. So you're going to take your tweezers and basically apply it to the underside of your eyelash. All right, first attempt, I don't think I left the glue to dry long enough because it did not stick to my lashes. So let's go ahead and re-glue this and wait a little bit longer and then we'll try again. I'm definitely hoping this is something that gets easier with practice because this feels very awkward and she makes it look so easy in the TikTok. All right, let's try this again, wish me luck. They're on, let's move on. She also said to layer them, like overlap them just a little bit so that it's seamless. So let's try to do that. I feel like that's gonna be kind of thick though, right? We'll see. All right, second piece is on. Now let's go to the third piece. I definitely think I will be able to fit a fourth piece on here. I might just have to cut it a little bit. Actually, maybe not. These are actually pretty close to the corner of my eye, so I'm actually going to just leave it. Okay, so far so good. Now that they're placed, I'm just going to leave it and then we'll like squish them together and make sure that they look even afterwards. 
Let's go ahead and fast forward to the second eye and then we'll move on to the next step. Right about to apply my other eye and this one feels so much more awkward than the other one. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. All right, they're on. I'm not going to maneuver them anymore because I think they look good. They definitely are giving me that lash extension look. So now I'm gonna wait 20 minutes and let the glue completely dry. And then we're going to fuse the lashes together. All right, so I'm pretty sure the glue is dry. I'm going to take these tweezers now. These are tweezers I just had from like another lash set. And I'm going to squeeze the lashes together with my real lashes. Okay, that one's stuck a little, so I'm a little nervous that the glue might not be completely dry. So I'm actually going to wait like five, 10 more minutes before doing this eye, because if this eye was a little bit sticky, this eye definitely needs to dry for longer. So be back in about 10 minutes. Back once again. I know it's been like no time for you. <laughs> Let's try this again. I'm going to squeeze my lashes on this eye now. All right, so here they are, I'm done. I love the way they look. I definitely feel like it's giving me lash extension. And this one is a little bit not as perfect as this side, but I'm still happy with it. Let's see if they stay on. I'm gonna do my makeup really quick so we can see what they look like like when my face is all done. I have absolutely no makeup on my face right now. We'll show that real quick, and then we're gonna do a wear test. We'll see how many days I can go before I like need to take them off. And then I will also share how easy they are to remove. Since that's another part of this that I'm a little bit nervous about, because because if they are like impossible to remove or rip out all my eyelashes, like that's just like not gonna work long term. So let's hope that these work out great, but they feel super secure. And if they stay on for even at least like four days, I will be happy. So let's put on makeup real quick and then we'll do a quick check-in and then I will see you tomorrow. So I just did my makeup. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for these lash extensions. I feel like I did my makeup so much quicker than I normally do because I just didn't do anything with my lashes, obviously. Like I didn't even put eyeshadow on, but I think it looks so good. Love it so far. We'll see how long these last. See you tomorrow. Hi, it's the evening of day two of having these lash extensions on. So I just wanted to do a quick update. They're still looking great. When I took a shower this morning, it was really easy to avoid my eye area. And I felt like, I definitely felt like there was something on my eyes. <laughs> I was like, just something I needed to get used to. But when I took a shower this evening to wash my hair, that is when I did get my face wet and I actually feel better. I feel like, like my little eye crusties are gone, but the lashes still look good in my opinion. So here is what they look like. Without makeup, I'm gonna do makeup real quick. I'm getting dinner with my family, so I wanna put on just a little bit of makeup. So I'll check in after my makeup is done, but this is how the lashes look without makeup on. I feel like it's a little easier to see them. Forgot to check in before dinner. Dinner started a little sooner than I expected, but I did want to quickly update now that I have makeup on my face because obviously like with other lashes too, I feel like it looks better when you have like your whole face done or else it just looks like a lot. <laughs> so this is what the lashes look like. Still look really good. They are comfortable. I feel like I'm getting used to having something glued to my eyelashes at all times. I still think they look really good. So far so good. Another day, another check-in. So today I did my full makeup. I even did a winged eyeliner because I wanted to see how easy it was to do with lashes. It definitely was harder, <laughs> but I just felt like something was missing tonight. So these are how the lashes are looking. They still are on tight. I think the worst part is when I wake up in the morning, I feel like there's stuff in my eyes, like my little like eye sleeps and I can't get them out. But then I like wash my face. I've gotten comfortable just getting my lashes wet in the shower and then just like gently, gently drying them. So that's worked fine. They've stayed on. I feel like it kind of freshens them up and keeps them clean. So, I mean, it's worked out well and they still look great. And today is day three of having these on. So far, so good. See you tomorrow. Hello, reporting back at the end of day five. So sorry, forgot to check in yesterday, which was day four, but lashes have pretty much been exactly the same since yesterday. I am getting a little bit of lifting on the outsides, but I still think they look great. Like in terms of how they look, they don't look wonky. If anything, the ends might be like a little bit more downward than I would prefer just because they are lifting just a little bit, but that happens every time with fake lashes anyways. I feel like the glue is actually hanging on quite tight considering that in the shower now, like I do wash my face fully. I put them under water 
water gently and then gently dry them and there's been no issues. I've decided that tomorrow I'm going to remove them. It will be at the end of day six, which is really great, six full days. And I really truly think I could wear them longer, but we have a housewarming on Saturday. I wanna make sure they're looking fresh. So I'm going to put them back on on Saturday or Friday evening so that they like look the best. And I feel like now that I have applied them once, I can do it even better the second time. All right, so today's the day I'm going to remove my lashes. I was planning to remove them last night, but I actually decided just to remove them today because, I mean, why not? I have time today. And to be honest, I feel like I could continue wearing them and they would look fine. They definitely are lifting on the sides though, so I definitely just want to redo it since I'm seeing people today. But today's the seventh day, so not bad. So I'm going to remove my lashes, then I'm going to take a shower so I could really wash my face, make sure all the remover is off, and then I'll put the lashes back on. So the TikTok I found these lashes on, she also did a video on the removal process so I'm going to watch that and I did buy the wink click remover so I'm hoping that this is easy but she did say that she could also use coconut oil and I'm sure like a makeup remover balm would work too she actually said to use Vaseline not coconut oil <laughs> so I don't know if coconut oil works so basically I'm just going to try to saturate my lashes as much as possible at the base with this remover so she said she left it sit for about 20 minutes so that's what I'm going to do and then she said she could just take a damp washcloth and they should just come easily right off. I could already start feeling them lifting, so I think it'll come off pretty easy. All right, I'm back. Let's see if they come off. Yeah, they came off super easy. It feels like even less friction than even fake lashes. So let's go ahead and put them back on. So they're definitely easier to put on the second time around and I went a little further in. I still have to push them together, but they're not quite dry. And here's what they look like with makeup. All right, here's how the lashes look with makeup. I love them. I am so happy I tried this. I feel like this solves my problem with lash extensions and I will definitely continue to use them. So including the cost for the remover and the glue, this was maybe a little bit more than $10 a pair and I wouldn't necessarily reuse them. We'll see, I might try, <laughs> we'll see. But if you think about that cost versus lash extensions, it's incomparable. Now I wore mine for six full days, which I feel like I definitely could have gone for longer. And lash extensions typically do last three maybe even four weeks however I love how I was able to control once it started looking a little weird you know like I could take them off at any time it took me like 15 minutes with lash extensions you have to go make an appointment you have to sit in the chair for an hour it's a whole big process and I feel like it's a much bigger commitment like for this if I'm just not feeling it one day I can just easily take it off and just put it back on later I love it I highly recommend giving it a try yourself let me know down below if you have tried either actual lash extensions or at-home lash extensions and let me know what you think. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.